Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on Spring Boot. Today I'm going to show you how to serve static resources from your Spring Boot application. The static resource can be some files, some public files you want to serve with or without authorization. Okay, so let's get started. I'm creating a new project, new Spring Boot project for this purpose. My language is Java, project build tool is Maven using the latest stable Spring version. Group is Chrome. Uh, group is com. Example artifact ID is static resource server let's put a hyphen so it is better readable static resource server my packaging is jar and the version of java is 2 into 1 lts and let's add spring web dependency so that we have the server and all necessary thing clicking on generate and saving the zip file on my repositories folder and once the repository is downloaded let's extract it and let's now open my IntelliJ open the new boilerplate project I have just downloaded since it is uh, first time loading it is taking some time to resolve the dependencies and it is a first time thing so now IntelliJ loaded everything and everything is good to go as I can see we have our main application starting point if i run the server it will start on localhost 8080 as you can see the server is started so let's now dive into our topic today serving static resource before that you have to understand the concept of class path and how if spring Boot application is packaged and deployed on the server so when you uh, build your project with maven there is a folder in the target and this folder contain a jar file and that jar file actually get deployed in the server and that jar file is very old and classic thing in java application and have a long history let's not uh, let's not dive into that so to serve static resources from your spring boot application by default it is configured and everything you put inside this uh, static folder that will be uh, that will be served from your application so let's try that out first i'm going to pixels.com downloading a photo saving it on the resources folders static folder naming the file as test.jpg now let's restart our server and try to access this that image from our browser so now the server is running on localhost 8080 let's go to localhost and the port is 8080 and slash is and the path for static resource is uh, let's directly let's try to directly access the folder text.jpg yeah we can uh, directly access the image from our uh, server just putting it inside the static folder so this way when you need to serve some static resource like css file javascript file when you are developing a monolith application in spring this can come in handy you can just put your public resources here and frontend can access that so let's uh let's see let's create a different folder called public and copy this uh, image and paste it to public folder and name it test public.jpg so now my public folder have a file called test underscore public and let's restart our server now let's go to our server and test underscore public since it is in public folder and boom we can see that this image is served from the public folder right so this is not happening randomly spring boot have well configuration for this that's why it is happening uh, what about a folder called resources under the folder resources right so let's create a new folder called resources inside this and just see if it works new folder resources and copying this file and pasting it inside the resources and naming it test underscore test underscore resources and now in the resources folder we have test underscore resources dot jpg copy the file name and let's go back to our server and type this uh, so it is not working without restarting the server 
let's let's restart and see if it works yeah if i create a new folder called resources inside the folder resources and put some put some file there those file can be accessed with the file name just after the context path of my application so mm -mm. So this is interesting right public folder resources folder static folder all folder are serving the static resources so whatever folder i create and put file everything seems to be working let's create a new folder uh, inside our uh, class path resources folder called meta hyphen inf and uh, create a new folder here called resources and put a new file inside this uh, meta inf dot resources so this resources folder is actually inside this meta inf folder and let's copy the, uh, let's uh, rename this file as test resources underscore meta so that we can differentiate and let's restart our server and see in this one works or not test resources underscore meta yes it is still working interesting right so in a spring boot application in spring boot 3 if you put your file under static public if you uh, you have actually four different way to serve static resources and each one have a valid reason and i'll explain uh, if this video tutorial allows i'll explain one by one so you can create a new folder called static and serve the resources from this folder without any configuration we can create a folder called public and we can create a folder called resources and we can create a folder called meta hyphen inf and create a resources folder inside that and that folder can also serve static resources so when we build a jar file jar file is nothing but a archive type like you, you have used 7zip or rar file jar, file jar file is kind of that it just uh it just packages all the java bytecodes in a uh, standard structure for java so meta inf folder is a folder from where the classes are served in Spring Boot jar. You can deep dive into this jar structure if you want to learn more. So we have learned how we can serve static resources from our application, from our resource folder in different ways. Uh, the standard approach would be serving from public folder for some public resources, like you have a template for PDF or how to, uh, how to document or how to HTML, or you can use the static folder. Okay, these two approaches recommended. Now imagine a scenario, uh, you have a totally different storage like Amazon, um, Amazon S3 bucket or your own server where the files are served. You need to publicly serve those files from your Spring Boot application. In that case, we need to override some default Spring Boot configuration. Okay, so that way you can define a specific uh, local or remote uh, remote directory from where Spring Boot will serve the files. So for that, uh, let's create a uh, new package here, config and inside this configuration, I can create a new class called static file service config. Create a new static file service config and marking this class as Spring Configuration. This class has to implement web mpc configurer this is a uh, servlet configuration for spring framework for your tomcat server and inside this let's override this method okay this one is the method which serves the location for serving static resources okay so let's let's override this method here let's override this method here and this method have a parameter called resource handler registry and i can uh, i can add new resource handler for url pattern 
and serve the resource location. So this is showing the static, the default value. If I am using Linux, then I can uh, use the path of my server. Like here, this is the root, root slash. Uh, this is the base directory of Linux and opt, then the folder from where I want to serve the resources. So since I'm on Windows, I have to type something called this something like this if i have a d drive then tree colon slash static and this so if i configure this then everything inside the static folder of d drive can be accessed with localhost slash static slash the name of the file inside this d slash static folder so if the d slash static folder have a file called test.jpg i can access that file from localhost slash static slash test.jpg this is how it works but what if you want to serve from your uh, AWS S3 bucket that is in a remote server right so your uh, your files have to be public in the S3 bucket then you can also configure that the base directory for your public files in S3 here and you can serve your uh, you can serve your static resources from your cloud through the Spring Boot application so I hope you got the idea how to serve static resources from your Spring Boot application. There can be a different approach. If you if you are using uh, a Spring Security, then you have to whitelist those URLs. Like if you have Spring Security configured and you want to serve your own public files like this, then you have to whitelist this static slash starter too, because by default, Spring Security will require auth authentication and authorization for all URL. And beware of the file colon directory here. This file have some meaning. This can be some other things too, right? It, it supports some other protocol too. So I hope you got the idea. Let me know how you serve static resources from your application. By the way, this full approach is for public static resources. If your resources requires authorization, that can also be served from your controller. And in, at that case, you have to have authorization authentication configuration configured like you can use in the session or JWT token and authorize the user and then you can serve so i hope you learned something out of this video today for spring and i hope you found this uh this four kind of approach interesting in spring boot okay i i think that's it for this tutorial please hit the like button if you enjoyed watching my content and i'll see you in the next Tutorial on Spring with some interesting stuff. So until next time, happy coding.